Breast cancer is the most common cancer in women with more than a million cases diagnosed each year. While better treatment and technology are helping more women beat the disease, those same life-saving treatments could be harming their hearts. Darla Morin is no stranger to this hospital room. I spent my lunch hour for four weeks here. She was diagnosed with breast cancer, but after a lumpectomy, chemotherapy, and radiation, she can finally say... I'm cancer free. Close to three million women in the U.S. are breast cancer survivors. Doctors and researchers now have to place a greater emphasis on uh, advances that can minimize long-term side effects of our cancer treatments. One of these side effects is an increased risk of heart disease. A study in the New England Journal of Medicine says radiation can make arteries more likely to harden and clog, leading to heart attack, and can also cause valve and rhythm problems. And these risks can last for decades after the treatment is over. Take a breath and hold. One thing breast cancer patients can do to protect their hearts, hold their breath for 20 seconds while they're given radiation. This actually expands the lungs and pushes the heart out of the way, uh, away from the breast and also out of the radiation beam. Exercise during and after treatment is also important, especially for women with risk factors like diabetes. Finally, stock up on flaxseed. The vitamins and the omega-3 fats in the seeds lower the risk of heart disease. Studies show it can also help some treatments work better and slow cancer cell growth. Just a few ways to help women beat cancer and keep their heart healthy. Also, stay away from saturated and trans fat, which have been linked to heart disease and cancer recurrence. Well, if your body does develop breast cancer, early detection is key to surviving. That means self-exams and regular checkups should be on your to-do list. There's an upcoming free event where you can learn more. And joining us today to tell us more is Lori Yates, who is with Susan G. Komen, Maryland. Thank you, Lori, for coming in. Thank you for having me. For those who don't know, what is Susan G. Komen and what does it do? We're the largest nonprofit breast cancer organization in the country and uh, second only to the U.S. government. We've put more funding into research for breast cancer than uh, any other organization. Mm -hmm. And in addition to the research at the national level, we fund programs locally that provide awareness, education, information about prevention, as well as support for screening, mm -hmm. treatment, and diagnosis. And that's financial support as well, isn't that's it? That's right, yes, grants in the local community. Right, right. Yeah. Now, Komen, Maryland is hosting an educational symposium. Can you tell right. me about that? Yeah, we're really excited about this. We have an event coming up on October 3rd. It'll be at the Carousel Hotel in Ocean City from 5 to 8 p.m. It's a free event. We have expert physician speakers representing the local hospitals. We have exhibitors from organizations in the local community to talk about the programs they offer. We also have a panel of survivors who will be there to talk about the tools they use to get through their own breast cancer journey. Why is a, a, an event like this so important? We try to find every opportunity to get our messaging out into the community. Awareness events, educational events are really important for us. It's part of our mission. And this is an opportunity to bring together people from the community have access to physician speakers and be able to ask questions. And it also allows these other organizations who provide services to be able to be there and talk about what they do with individuals. Right. Do you yeah. have to pre-register? Yes, we do ask for registration because space is limited, but it is free. You can register on our website through your website, I mm -hmm. think. Yep. Yeah, and this is a free event. You you mentioned that, and, yes. and that's because of the uh, Komen race in Ocean City you hold every year. That's right. The race enables us to sponsor things like this. In addition to the grants we provide locally, we do two educational symposiums every year: one in Central Maryland and one on the Eastern Shore. Mm -hmm. And we talked about financial assistance. And if you can't make it to this act, the symposium, you do um, offer free exams for for women. We support programs that provide free clinical breast exams and mammograms in the local community. And through our office, we can give information about programs that are, that are nearby to anyone who wants to know about them, yeah. All right, now yeah. let's get our event details one more time. It's Thursday, October 3rd. Yep, 
from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Carousel Hotel in Ocean City. And of course, we'll have more information at delmarvalife.com. Lori, thank you so much and good thank luck you. with the event. Thank you, Lisa. We also want to tell you about a free breast cancer conference being presented by the Breast Center at Peninsula Regional Medical Center. The ninth annual Breast Cancer Conference, a perspective on breast cancer, takes place on Wednesday, October 9th at the Fountains Conference Center in Salisbury. Registration and dinner start at 5 o'clock. Now, the actual conference takes place from 6 to 8. There will be presentations and even a question an answer session. PRMC's Breast Cancer Conference is a free event, but you have to register by Tuesday. And if you'd like to attend the conference, call 410-677-6620. And if you'd like to learn more, go to our website, delmarvalife.com. Well, still ahead on Delmarva Life, keeping our kids safe. That's exactly what car seats do. But are you using the right car seat for your child? There are different types and they all have different uses. The folks at State Farm break it all down. And later we're headed into the kitchen to add a seasonal pumpkin twist to a classic comfort food. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back.